So we're looking at Paul's prayer in the book of Philippians and his prayer for them, which I think is a strategic prayer that their love may abound more and more. And it's hard to overstate the um, the abundance, the super abundance that Paul implies here. There, there's He just wants them to go for this in such a huge way that, that they're known and recognised for the love that they have for each other. And uh, I think that's that's really well worth thinking about how how we do that better, how we do that better as a small group, how we do that better with people coming into the church, how we do that better with folk who, who've been around a long time that we, we don't really know, how we love one another who uh, don't love us back, how we love people who maybe we feel are a bit unlovely and, uh, and, and how we do that well because as we do that we know God better. Uh, and I love that link that is implicit here, or well, more than implicit here, it's stated here, but it's uh, it's really drawn out in 1 John chapter 4. And if you want a Bible study, have a look at that passage and the link between love and knowing God. And uh, that's just a, a, a powerful thing that the secret knowledge, if Paul had any secret knowledge at all, it was this, that as he loved people, he knew God better. And uh, that's that's just a powerful thing. And and along with that, there's a, a depth of insight that comes as we love, as we see what God is doing, as we get God's opinion on people, and as we understand uh, what he wants, as he wants the best for them and for us. And so this insight is really an insight into what God is doing. I think we'll know better what God is doing as we love people. And then uh, he, he talks about uh, that you may be uh, able to discern what is best. And, and that idea of discernment is 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 really uh, there's a movement in it it's of what way forward how can we how, how can we get ahead in this how can we move on with this how can we we see what god is doing and throw ourselves in with it how how can we uh discern uh good guidance uh for us and for others as we love one another and that happens out of a place of love you know words of knowledge words of wisdom they come from a place of love, from a heart of love. And if we can do that, uh, then we get much better guidance. And and then there's this whole thing about being pure and blameless. Uh, purity is something that we have. Blamelessness is something that others see. And we, we get that as we love each other. There's a, a knowing that we're loved and loving other people pulls us to a place of purity, pulls us to a place of holiness. It, it's much better than telling people off. It's much better than uh, being negative and judgmental and critical. It's much, it, it's much better simply to love. And that's what Paul calls us to as a church. And so he wants our love to abound more and more. And so as we allow Paul to mentor us in, the, in this, let's think through how we can do that better, what difference that can make. And, and how it has helped us to know God in the past and how that can continue to happen uh, in days to come. Bless you. And maybe this will be a great resolution for us in 2022. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.